Bill here with the Metals Minute. Today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. Well, silver is the catch word of the day. We've had uh, news uh, across the Twitter sphere of uh, wealthy individuals and wealthy uh, conglomerates across Europe are uh, growing weary with the uh, bond situation and the bonds across the Eurozone. Uh, we find that uh, even in Germany, the, the bonds have risen to the highest level in two years. They actually have gotten above zero for the first time since 2019, uh, and they're now paying 0 0.013. And faced with that option, many people are telling their wealth managers across Europe, look, don't time up, up my money for 10 years at that kind of a yield when inflation is at 20-year highs in the Eurozone. Uh, they're looking at a December rate just ticked off at 5% in Europe, which is the highest they've seen in 20 years. So many of the wealthy are saying, look, I want physical silver. And uh, the wealth managers are kind of at a loss because that's not their typical uh, thing that they invest in. And when they try to promote the idea of paper silver products such as certain ETFs, they're saying, no dice, I want physical silver. So we've seen uh, silver spike in the last, uh, over the last week, we got have silver up 3.7%. Uh, uh, the details are in the write-up. But the similar thing is happening in the United States in terms of inflation. We have uh, mortgage rates have risen each uh, every week for the last uh, month, and they're now at the highest levels in two years. And uh, we have inflation uh, higher than it is in Europe. We're looking at a 7% rate last month versus Europe's 5%. So even though the U.S. Treasuries yield more than the Euro area bonds, the net effect is the same because inflation is higher here. So this is, uh, while it makes life difficult in some ways, uh, gold and silver can help smooth out those uh, difficult times, including as a family savings vehicle uh, to help future generations. And, and a lot of people try to help their children uh, when it comes time for them to get into their own home, uh, try to help them in one way or another. And owning a portion of your savings in precious metals is a way to ease that transition. It doesn't take as much metal uh, to equal the same amount of dollars in the future as it would just trying to meet those costs with out of existing dollar accounts. And so there's a link to a story that discusses that a little further. And, and what we see is that even housing inflation has gone beyond even the highest income earners uh, in America over the last 60 years. Housing inflation has increased uh, 34 times uh, since 1960. But since then, gold has increased 54 times. So as you try to help uh, your children or grandchildren or whatnot, it's easier if you're storing some of your savings in gold. And it makes it easier to help make those large ticket purchases in the future. So thanks a lot. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Have a great week.